Hello everyone, we are still in our first chapter of biology and the last time we talked about the particle and there's still some points which we we will state about the granadus and the chloroplast of the plant. The first point is the function of chlorophyll and the function of chlorophyll is to absorb the sunlight and make it easy to carry the photosensors in the little plant. The second thing is the stalk grains. The stalk grains which are found in the stroma of the uh, chloroplast and these starch grains are considered temporary products of photosynthesis because they will soon be transformed back into soluble sugar under certain conditions and translocated back to the plant for the aim of feeding the plant. And the third point is the structure of the chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll is said to be complex because the structure of the chlorophyll molecule is C55, H72, O5, N4, and Mg. Here is the magnesium. And if you remember, we mentioned in the salts, which are important for the plant, we said that magnesium is important for the manufacturing of the chlorophyll. So here the magnesium atom is translocated in the middle of the chlorophyll molecule and it is believed that it has an importance uh, which makes the chlorophyll able to absorb the light. This was our first point today. Our second point is the leaves. We will talk about it this time and the next time also. And we have here a topic which says adaptation of the leaves. to the function actually the leaves are arranged on the stem of the plant in a manner which gives them the greatest space for the light absorption also they are flattened and thin to increase the surface area of absorption of light and inside the leaves we can notice that there is a thick rib inside the leaf which supports it because we draw the leaf like this so this rib is called the midrib and from it there are veins which branch into smaller venules and tubules among the whole leaf and such a structure offers a great network that supply the plant with water and translocate the manufactured food inside the leaf into the whole parts of the plant to the stem, the roots and the other leaves and the flowers. We have also the layer, the outer layer of the leaf is covered with a layer of cutene and of course this also protects the leaf and there are small pores oh, uh, they occur almost in the inner part of the leaf and they are called stomata and these pores allow the gaseous exchange so that the leaf can absorb the uh, can absorb the carbon dioxide and give out the oxygen, and this also 
control the humidity because through the stoma also the plant gives out water vapor so the plant can control the humidity of the leaves through the stomata so this was the adaptation of the leaves to their function the next time we will draw the inner structure of the leaf we will draw a, a transverse section of the leaves of the plant and tell that that's it for today and see you next time thanks for watching